Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, y'all. How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing out there, man? Hopefully everybody just had a great Christmas. Um, right now, getting ready for the New Year's, counting your blessing or whatever. Like I said right now, thank y'all for your support. Thank y'all for your love. Thank you for everything, man. Anytime people subscribe to the Patreon page, I truly, truly appreciate it, man. Listen, anything y'all want to know directly, y'all want to get more involved, more interaction, you know what? Listen, send me your email address. Send me your telephone number. We can have some chat. We can have some powwow. Tell me what y'all want me to talk about on this platform. Like I told you right now, with my platform is strictly about the BGG movement. The Brian Glaze Gives movement is best to give than receive. It's best to give than receive. My objective is how do I get back? How do I get back to the community? How do I get back to the homeless? How do I get back to the people that's out there that's hungry? How do I get back to the people that's out there that got mental illness issue that don't want to get addressed or whatever? How do I get back to people that got high blood pressure, high sugar, high cholesterol, high weight? How do I get back? That's why I'm involved with Pinoxor. And then my objective is right now, when I'm bringing people on the platform, what we're going to talk about, everything from A to Z, man. How do people get it together, man? Everything from A to Z, man. How do we help one another? Building a powerful community, man. What, what I'm talking about today is my brother, Cool and D. Cool and D versus Alberto Alpo Martinez. You know, people, you, everybody don't understand, like Brooklyn is, like Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, and Staten Island is small. But guess what? It's big, but it's small. You know, here it is right now with doing a period of time. You know what? Like I say, sometimes you meet different people in different boroughs. And like I said right now, Brooklyn's a rough area. And like I said, all that metropolitan area when you're trying to hustle is rough. So here it is. Sometimes you can be in an area so long and you're not making the money you're making because you got your opposition. Is this as dangerous as you are, even danger? Sometimes you try to take your talent. Like LeBron James say, I'm taking my talent to South Beach. Why he took his talent to South Beach? Because he was in Cleveland for years. And right now they was in winning. So the difference is right now he got tired of losing. So what he did was he felt if he take his talent elsewhere and merge with other people that just as strong as he was, he can win a championship. His first year he's lost, but then guess what happened? He won a couple. And guess what? The rest is history. So anyway, right now is my brother and Dean. They decided right now to get out of Brooklyn. You know, even right now you sit back and you think about right now was here it is. D claim he's a general. But the difference is right now, you got Daryl Uzi Edward. When he shot him up, he didn't go after Daryl Uzi Edwards. As my brother talked about, they got the family. They got a big family, grown men. What did they do? They didn't go after Daryl. D, what he did, he went to the Poconos. My brother was in jail at the time. And even when he came home, did it, him and D together. Did they go after Delroy? Yo, partner, you was in jail. I was in jail. I was in there. When you almost lost your life. You know, here it is, we going after this guy. Nah, they stay far away from him as possible. Because Delroy Uzi Edwards was no joke. If you Google and look him up, Delroy Uzi Edwards, he got, what, seven to nine life sentences. He's in Florence, Colorado, maximum joint now. D is not in Florence, Colorado. My brother's not in Florence, Colorado. You know, right now, D is, you know, winding down his bed. And, and what, what he's in Arkansas somewhere, okay? As right now, my brother, what are you doing? Sit in the backyard, about to get evicted. Because once again, right now, like I say, here it is. He's living with his wife and his wife getting sick and tired of that. He's living debt-free. He's not paying a bill. He's not helping with the mortgage. He's not helping with the water, the light gas bill. He's not helping with anything. The difference is right now, this individual can go out there and get a job. He can go and be a Walmart greeter. Hi, welcome to Walmart. I'm cool. I'm James. Hey, welcome to Walmart. Hey, hi, welcome to Burger King. But the difference right now is sometimes they get caught up because they used to be in that street life. Just because you used to be in that street life, sometime when that street life is over with, you got to learn to understand, guess what, man? Some money is better than no money. See, that fast money, you get addicted to that. So when that fast money stops coming and you cannot be a drug dealer no more, guess what? You're a grown man. you older than me. Go get a job. You can go to Chick-fil-A. Hi. My name is James Bernard Kool-Aid Gibbs. You know, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Taking people order. They paying $15 at Chick-fil-A. But the difference is right now, you want to stay home. And you want to terrorize. You know what I'm saying? Call a shot. You want to call a shot? You don't pay no bills. No man right now is, is that a man? But like I say, here it is, him and D. They left Brooklyn. And they went to Manhattan. People. People think... It's, it's, it's always the same. Brooklyn, take it. 
Manhattan make it, Brooklyn take it, Queens faking it. Oh, that's a bunch of nonsense, man. Because you got different people with different personality and mentality all over the place. And the difference is you can't just leave one area because a girl or somebody told you, you can come to Manhattan. Y'all Brooklyn cats, y'all can come to Manhattan. Y'all can make some money up here. So they opened up a shop in Manhattan, similar to what Delroy told them, don't open up shop. And what right now Delroy did, he let him, D, that's supposed to be a general, no retaliation. They let Delroy, they didn't even went back after Delroy. Now they go to Manhattan, not knowing or scoping the area out. That area that they went into happened to belong to the late Alberto Alpo Martinez. Now, they got warned, but they feel, you know what, okay, that's what happened. People tell you you can't do this, you can't do that or whatever. Some people you got to take their threat serious. They didn't take this threat serious enough. And what happened? They got into a few words. Next thing you know, a few shootouts. Next thing you know, guess what? One of our guys, Rick William, may so rest in peace. He was murdered. He got shot down and murdered, okay, by Alpo and his people. They killed Rick. So the difference is right now where it's like, you know, what happened? I bet you they shut up. I bet you they shut down shop then and they got out of there. But it shouldn't happen, happen like that because the only thing you had is black on black crime. The only thing you had, like I say right now, was guess what? Rick died over some nonsense. Over a spot, over, like he said right now, uh, what Jay-Z say? We fighting over territory. That's not even ours. They setting up shop in Manhattan, and Rick got murdered, executed. And the difference is right now is, guess what? What did my brother do? What did he do? They knew who was involved. They knew who was outpouring them. And right now, like, you know, he like to say, well, you don't know what happened because you was in jail. We ain't going to tell you everything or whatever because you made a deal. Man, listen, please. The bottom line is right now, guess what happened? Nothing. As we know, Alpo just got murdered, what, April, October 31st, 2021. And that's why you up there popping trash, talking about, oh, Alpo this, he's a rat, he this and that. But the difference is you had your turn. You had your time. You and your boy D, y'all supposed to be bosses. And your girlfriend Peter Shu, y'all supposed to be bosses. But did y'all go after Alpo? No. Y'all didn't go after Alpo and his people. Why? Because guess what? Y'all knew better. Y'all talk all that nonsense, you know, who y'all supposed to be and everything that y'all been through and everybody know y'all was bosses. Bosses, please, man. How in the heck was y'all cartoon character bosses? Better yet, who died and left y'all boss? You know what happened? When I went away, y'all took over the Eminem crew. Tell people about that. Tell people about that. Those were your grown mans. But the difference is right now is, guess what? Rick died on y'all watch. Y'all didn't do a damn thing. Didn't do a damn thing. Like I say, one of the guys responsible still doing time. All right? Here it is right now. You didn't, oh, guys, here, I'm, I'm going to give y'all some money, put your money in account, take care of that guy. Nah, y'all didn't touch him because he was up there on the Rikers Island. He went upstate, and he was tearing stuff up. Y'all guys know better. And then right now, Al put his reason got killed. So y'all didn't have nothing to do with that. But y'all want to talk all this boss stuff, man. See, we all talk all this boss stuff. But once again, like I say, people can say anything about me. Like you say, guess what? You're supposed to make more money than me. You had a longer run than I had. But once again, when you, when, I, when you came home, when you came home from Sing Sing, who you used to cook for? Who you used to cook for? Cool, answer that question. Who you used to cook for? You used to cook for me. You used to be in the kitchen cooking for me. So don't act like, oh, we didn't do this. We didn't do this. Look, at I, I got some pictures. I'm going to show you a picture. The picture of what you got on. You got on this felot suit. And right now you want to say, I'm wearing your shit. You, you got, that felot suit was mine. Gave it to you. You came on. Bottom line, what you got? You got on two chain and two medallion. Guess what? Who that belonged to? You know what? Like I say, look at the way I'm dressed. Look at the way you dress. Okay? During that period of time, I'm flying in and out of town. First class. Doing different things. Taking care of business. But like you say... I, you know, I was the worker. You're right. If that's what you want people to believe, that's what it is, man. Whatever you want them to believe. And even you talk about my manuscript and how I changed name and how I changed this and how I changed that. You're right. I changed a lot of stuff in there. Why I changed a lot of stuff in there? When you do a rough draft and you do it first, you put everybody's name into it. You know, because that's what you do. 
But then again, when you start educating yourself and understanding when you're writing a book, people change their life. And right now, you don't want nobody to go down for a crime. So you change the name up to protect these people. Some of the people is now mother, grandmother, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, great-grandmother. Some of these people move on to have a professional lifestyle. So nobody want their past to be brought back up to them. Nobody want their past to be thrown at them. A lot of times when people quit that negativity stuff, they want to put all that stuff behind them. And I don't blame them because they got kids. They got grandkids. They are professional. They're part of the community. So a lot of things that they escape from, they want to stay bullied from that. Who want to get caught up into that, man? But you don't understand that. You want to get up here on these platforms and talk about, yo, read this, read this, read that. Talk about your life. I stole your identity. What identity do you really have, man? Like you keep talking about different things, man. Talk about Jermaine Grant. Give Jermaine Grant family some closure. Tell them cowardly how and what you did to cause that man's demise, man. Talk about it. You bold. You real. You tell the truth about everything. Tell the truth about that. Okay? Besides that, tell the truth. What happened to Sharif? She, Sharif was still alive and well. When he robbed you for your money from your jewelry, what did you do in Fort Greene while using that payphone? Rip your fur coat. What happened? Nobody know. You know. But you don't speak about that. And the difference is, like I say, folks, listen. All of us got stories. And the difference is right now, when you listen to people and they saying different things or whatever, my brother is mad at me because I got a job. Okay? I humble myself. I came home, I changed. And I work. Like I say, sometimes I had three jobs at one time. Ain't no shame in my game. If I have to go in somewhere and clean the floors, clean the bathroom, take out trash, guess what? If that's what it's going to take for me to stay out of the penitentiary, I'd rather be at work than be in the penitentiary. Okay? I'd rather be at work and have a job, going to McDonald's, flipping burgers, being a Walmart greeter, collecting aluminum cans, than being homeless, than being hungry, than being in a graveyard, you know what I'm saying, at an early age of a violent death. I'd rather be, before I be a bum, before I can't take care of no building responsibility, I'd rather be dead. Before I sit back and try to live off a, a woman that I despise, that I hate, that I call her every name in the book except for the child of God, guess what? I'd rather be dead. But the difference is you are a grown man and you healthy. But guess what, man? Here it is right now. You got a birthday coming up. December 28th is your birthday. Happy birthday, bro. Get it together before it's too late, man. Get it together. Get all that negative, all that demonic, you know, saying poison your system. Get out of your system. Start being a respectable, you know what I'm saying, human being. Stop telling your daughters to suck your wee-wee. Stop telling elder family member to suck your wee-wee. Bro, who do that? Like you say, get D back on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Let him call you back from Arkansas and ask him, bro, yo, why we didn't do anything to Al Pono guys when they killed Rick? Hmm? Why didn't right now is we went after the guys that killed Supreme? Okay? Why you didn't have my back? You, you went and joined forces with Sharif D after I got robbed. Why you didn't have my back? But yet and still, we supposed to be brother. Get them back on the phone. Ask them about the home invasion. Ask them about the house that y'all burnt down. Ask them about all that stuff, man. If you're gonna, if that's what you want to do, you want to be a journalist now. It's not too late. You can be an Uber driver. Take your little Kia Soul that you have. You can be an Uber driver. But in order to be that, you have to change your attitude. You have to. Uh, oh, you go pick somebody up. Uh, 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 what the f you want? Why you get in my car? Bro, you sign up to be an Uber driver. So if you're going to be an Uber or a Lyft driver, you got to have that right personality. You got to be nice to people. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. You know what I'm saying? How's your day going? You got to be nice to people. You can't be right now a greeter at Walmart. Oh, uh, welcome to Walmart. How can I help you? You can't do that. This is the approach. Hey, hi. I'm Kool-Aid. Welcome to Walmart. How can I help you? Have a good day. That's what you have to do, man. You can't act like a ooh, 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 like a pit bull when in actuality you're only a poodle. Come on, man. Stop fronting. 
You are extremely too old to continue to be out there fronting, man. Stop being that evil, sick individual. The world don't owe you anything. Nobody owe you nothing, man. So get your lazy butt off your wife's couch. And while she's working, you go out there and work, man. Long as right there, she don't care if you have a minimum wage job. Long as you making some type of form of contribution. You want to tell people you retire. Retire from what? Retire from what? How do it feel to be a grown man and you don't even got no legal income coming in? You stop going to the flea market because you stop having bootleg fake stuff to sell. But it's not too late, man. It's never too late, man. What you have to do in my challenge to you right now on your 59th birthday, change your life, change your attitude, change your behavior. Get away from people owe you anything. Get away from that nonsense. Nobody owe you nothing. Write down, listen, man. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? You're not black. I don't have a beer. You know what I'm saying? Get up my lap, man. You too big to try to sit on my lap. Want me to do something for you that you don't want to do yourself. Okay? You remember the time you called me? No, you didn't call me. You sent me a message on Facebook. I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I got a part-time concierge job. And you sent a message. You think you sent it private. You sent it out. Everybody can see it. Yo, I'm doing so bad, man. I don't even got gas money. Who fought is that, cool? Who fought is that? You went through all that money. You went through all that money. All that stuff you was doing. Picking up the brick, throwing at the prison floor, absolutely nothing. What do you have to show for it? You don't even have a peace of mind. You don't have nothing in your bank account. You don't have a 401k plan. You don't have a life insurance. Right now, you just got health insurance from your wife. The difference right now is, listen, as long as you 59, it's not too late, man. It's not too late for you can get it together before it's extremely too late. Listen, folks, like I told you right now was guess what? Here it is. This is who I am. My name is Brian Grace Gibbs. This is my ministry. I talk about the good. I talk about the bad. I talk about the ugly. But look at this. Get your signed copy. Beyond Lucky Book. The Brian Gibbs, Blake, Brian Glaze Gibbs story. A true story of crack, money, murder, and redemption. If I can change, anybody can change, man. Listen, man, it's no shortcut in life. And what I want you to do, show these to your kids and your grandkids. Right now, when you talk about right now, like I say, all these individuals want to talk about different things. And like they used to talk about, we used to be on that territory things. Brooklyn, Manhattan, Bronx, Queens, Staten Island. We used to want to kill people over territory because they selling drugs over here. They doing this and that. Only thing we did was destroy our own community. Black on black crime at the highest rate. For what? The difference is now, like I say, they talk all that trash about being bosses, about they can do this, they can do that. No, no. Every time you do something dumb, it's always repercussion. And like I say, when Rick William got murdered in April, April 6, 1989, guess what? When he did it, these guys, his friends, his partner, his crew, his family left him for dead. They didn't do a thing to retaliate his death. Tell me why. Tell me why. Why didn't they do that? And that's sad. And that's what we got to ask ourselves, folks. The difference is never put ourselves in that predicament in the first place, man. Young boys, young girls, don't put it in there. Only thing come fast is trouble. Easy to get into, hard to get out. It's no shortcut in life. If you do it right the first time, guess what? You don't have to worry about being like somebody like my brother. You know what I'm saying right now? Talk about he's retired from what? You don't have to be an evil old person, grump, grumpy all the time, hating everybody. You know what? A lot of times you can't love your wife. You can't love your kids. You can't love your grandkids. You can't love anybody if you don't love yourself, man. And that's the difference. And that's what we have to do is get back to the basic principle, man. You know what I'm saying? Basic instruction, the Bible. Basic instruction before leaving the earth. Hey, listen, folks. Thank you for joining me. Hit that Patreon. Share. Share. 2022, man, I got a lot of good stuff coming, man. I got a... I got lots of good stuff coming. And right now, I was listening. All the people that's out there, email me. Send me your telephone number. Do the email. Let's power out. Let's talk about different things, man. What y'all want to see on this platform coming 2022. Beware, like, peace, love, and prosperity. Hey, happy birthday to my brother. Hope you get it together. 
Hey, happy New Year's to everybody, man. You know what? Eat, drink, be merry, be safe, be mindful, be respectful. And right now, is guess what? It's best to give than receive. The BGG movement. Are you down with me? Yeah, you know me. BGG movement, full effect. My name K2, you know what I'm saying, man? Young cat trying to get my life together, man. This right here, a lot of knowledge, man. Strong mind, I appreciate it.